Thailand is our first out-of-the-country adventure for this year, 2024. When you arrive at Suwanaboom Airport, your phone will be automatically adjusted to their time, which is one hour behind the Philippine time. And before you buy SIM card for unlimited internet and local calls, you can connect to their free Wi-Fi at the airport. Since we will be staying in Thailand for 7 days, we bought the unlimited internet for 8 days that cost 299 baht. Outside the arrival area, you can withdraw money from the ATMs but with lower rates. I follow the advice of one of the bloggers from Friends of Thailand to find the super rich money changer for a better exchange rate. Arrival area is located at level 2. We decided to go to level 3 to find something to eat and a drink coffee while waiting for our children who will be coming from the Philippines. And from the third floor near the Starbucks area, we found a great place to sit and a view deck to see those who are arriving. And when they finally arrive, we go straight to level B to exchange money and to take the airport rail link going to our hotel. And if you want to take Grab, Taxi, or other public transportation, you may go to level 1. We walk about less than 5 minutes from the arrival area down to the airport rail link. Turn to your right when you see the city line signage. When you see the walkalator, it will lead you to the airport rail link. You don't go through the walkalator when you want to go to the money changer. Behind the walkalator, onto your right side, there's another way leading to the Happy Rich Money Changer. And yes, it's true, it offers a good money exchange rate than the others. You can also find this money changer in several train stations. And now we are heading to the airport rail link which is connected to the Bangkok train stations. And just at the end of the walkalator, you will find a ticket booth or ticket kiosk where you can buy tokens for the airport train. Kiosk is easy to use. Just choose the English language, your destination, and the quantity of the tickets that you will buy. And since this is our first time traveling in Thailand, I have watched a lot of videos to learn on how to efficiently get around to the city. And yes, the most coefficient way to get around to the city is to take the airport rail link which is connected to BTS which is the Bangkok train station and the MRT which is their subways. From Suwanamim Airport, if you want to take the land transportation, it may take you 40 to 50 minutes without the traffic. And if with the traffic, it may take you one hour and a half by land going to the downtown Bangkok. We will alight in Payatai Station. This station is the last station of the airport rail link. From Suwanaboom Airport, there are seven airport rail link stations. The Makasan Station is connected to the MRT station. The Ratchaprarok Station is within the Pratonam area. And from the airport, after 25 minutes, we reach the Payatai Station. This station is connected to BTS or Bangkok Train Station. After going out to the Payatai Station, we look for the exit going to the Bangkok Train Station. It operates from 6 a.m. to 12 midnight. Chose to stay in Sora Hotel, which is walking distance away from the BTS Station. Because who doesn't want to save time and saves money and take the most convenient way to go around because it connects all the city's major areas. We suggest that you download the Bangkok Metro, which is the BTS app, for a better guide. We notice that all the staffs in the BTS ticket station can speak English. They are very nice and they will lead you which train to take. From the BTS station, we bought a ticket going to Siam Station. From Siam Station, we will again buy a ticket to connect to Chong Nancy Station, where our hotel is located. And of course, it depends on your preference. From the last station of the airport rail link, which is the Payatai Station, you can go down and take a taxi or a grab to go to your hotel. 
for us, we are willing to take the challenge and the adventure of taking the train. But I admit, sometimes we get lost. But it's good to get lost once in a while. Anyway, it's part of the adventure, right? After 15 minutes, we reached the Chong Nancy station. We were actually stunned how near the place in the MRT station. It was like less than a minute walk down from the escalator. The hotel location is excellent. Just across the street, you will find the King Hamanakon Tower. We will be staying here for three nights before we head to our new adventure in the north of Thailand, Chiang Mai. The booking via Agoda. I will put the link and the price below the description. Our hotel booking doesn't include breakfast. But at the hotel, there's a small restaurant there and there's a nearby coffee shop. We booked two executive corner rooms, one good for two person and one good for three. After settling our luggages, we left the hotel at 4 p.m. And we're on to our first day itinerary. We are heading to Icon Siam to see the Starbucks at level 7. We will just relax and enjoy the view there while waiting for our time to board for a dinner cruise. And of course, we will be taking BTS or Bangkok train station to get there. See you on our part 2 vlog. Thank you so much for watching.